All right, and welcome to this little short snippet on reverse FMEA. So if you found us, the question you're gonna ask yourself is, what is reverse FMEA? Reverse FMEA, in its simplest form, is a bottom-up look at your reality. Now, when I say bottom-up, in reality, when you create an FMEA, you're starting from an ideal top-down perspective because the FMEA sets the cadence for the control plan, the work instructions, and eventually will end up on the floor. However, with reverse FMEA, you're going to the floor. And the way that I want you to think about it is you are validating your FMEA. So it's really a go and see about the process that you theorized right up above. And what you're looking for is deltas, changes, variants. Now, the next question you're probably going to have is, what format do I use? And the simple answer is, there is no magical pre-prescribed format. Some of the better guidance are found in your customer-specific requirements. Now, not all of your customers will have CSRs around reverse FMEA, so it's largely going to be up to you in conjunction with your CSRs to figure out how best to accomplish it. And I want to bring you back again to purpose. The purpose of the reverse FMEA is to validate the assumptions you made when you created the FMEA and see if they still hold. So some of the things that you'll do during a reverse FMEA is you'll take a look at the standardized work that is actually going on in the operation. You're going to check and challenge some of the pokey oaks that you had put in as preventative. And you're going to be looking at the performance assumptions you made early on in the program to determine if the performance assumptions still held. So it's largely up to you to determine how. We've got entire other videos on how to do this, but I think that it's important that we demystify the reverse FMEA because a lot of people think that it's a structured, ritualized approach, when in reality, it is a rough set of guidelines that you can use to validate the assumptions you made when it came to your initial risk profile. So if you like this and you wanna learn a little bit more, go ahead and click the link below for the training here at Plexus International on Reverse FMEA. All right, we'll see you in the next one.